Just one. They clicked on me. Can I get some buffalo wings? Uh, K Z E. What was that? K Z E. Okay. You guys are about to witness a walking strawberry tree. Welcome to another good Let's go. Down. It's so freaking hot outside. We got the Bond Paw on Milo. This will be an honest review about the product. I'm gonna be going over what I like and what I dislike about this product. First, I'm gonna start off with the positives. I really like how this thing has a front hook and a back hook. This front one is meant so it can try and stop your dog from pulling as much. I personally like the back hook. It would make the dog feel really uncomfortable if you put it on the front hook but I guess it does work a purpose. Mm, 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 you like that hot of fruit. It has a hand grip right here so you could grip your dog. Some things I don't like about this thing, I don't like how it's Velcro strapped. They only have a small and medium, which is this one right here, and they have a large one. Milo would be considered a small dog. The fitment on this thing isn't necessarily the best. I have it as tight as possible. At the bottom, it does have this dangling piece just because that's how tight he needs it. This right here could be really annoying. I mean, I guess I could just tuck it in. There you go, the fruit. It has two adjustables. After you have the harness set up, it's pretty easy to attach it to your dog. I have it on the tightest setting there is. It's pretty simple. Boom, that goes there. And now the Velcro piece. There was a bunch load of extra strap here and I cut it off. The second way it attaches is this right here. This goes under your dog's tummy. If the harness had this on both sides, it would be much better. The harness itself looks really nice. I like how it looks. It makes them look really fruity, which is always a benefit. Strength test of the Velcro right here. Let's see if I could actually support them. Milo is a fat ass dog. He weighs a lot. I'm not a big fan of the layout. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of the Velcro. There's no way in hell this would support my Husky. Since he is a puller, this Velcro piece would most definitely untie. This is a no pull harness since it has the front hook right here. Let's continue to ride and see what happens. Go Milo, go, go. Oh look, he's pulling me. Oh yeah, that's right. Saw someone say in the comments, I do believe one of your dog has a hernia. I think you were talking about the fruit. This dog has limped since he was like one year old. I'm not sure why. It doesn't seem to affect how he performs. I've never taken one of my dogs to a vet, except the rat. The rat has been to the vet once. If it doesn't affect the way he performs in life, I'm not gonna worry about it. This dog's about 10 years old. He's been walking with a limp like an old school pimp for nine years now. Milo. Milo! <laughs> Look at him. He just wants to go to the dog park and smash every dog he possibly can. I did go to the dog park and the freaking audio cut off. The mic got disconnected slightly and it just completely messed up the audio. It looks as if Mute Spitta was narrating the video. If you guys don't know who Mute Spitta is, he's a rapper who's mute. I'm just here for some water. Good boy. It's a really cheap harness. I think it's $12. This is slightly cheaper than the harness crypto ripped. I'm not sure if the harness crypto ripped comes in small. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I would recommend this harness for people that have small dogs just because of the way it's set up with the Velcro. That Velcro could be really unsecure if you have a strong dog that likes to emergency brake. The other problem I see with the harness, this extra stuff right here, it might be that Milo is a little bit too small for the harness. Cause when I saw the specs, he was slightly under the specs of the fitment and all. That might have to do a lot with it. Overall, this is a really nice harness for the price. It looks nice. This is removable right here. Let's leave that on, boom. I know you guys love seeing Milo. This dog's been my bae since we first got him. When I did get Crypto, Crypto did replace him. Look how cute he is. I just want to grab his little tongue. He's missing a bunch of teeth. Is that a spider on you? What is that? That was a what chap lay down lay though. As far as the positives on this harness, I really enjoy the fact that this has a front hook as well as a back hook. The pricing, the price has to do a lot with the harness. This harness is $11.
Hey. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, you're so beautiful. There's a dog over there. Oh, you see that dog, huh? You wanna hump the shit out of it? Milo just wants to smash anything that moves that has four legs. Mmm, I see that thrust. Scale. Scale. This right here is my oldest dog. He's in the double digits. I'm not sure how old he is, but he's pretty old. He's a long fur chihuahua. He was actually the only long fur out of the whole litter. I remember going, there was nine puppies all ran up to me and I was like, that one. It was Milo, it was a long fur chihuahua. One of my cousins did have one of his sisters. Her name was Star. She stuck her head in a hole trying to catch a rat and she suffocated, she died. You have to be very careful with these small dogs. Oh no. Damn, man, no respect. Stop thinking about it, dude. You don't think about child support, but you think about jumping off the edge of a table? Are you serious? Not sure what else I could say about the harness. I went over the negatives and the positives. That's gonna go ahead and be it for this review. If you guys wanna check out the harness, the link's gonna be down in the description. I hope this video helps for any people that are looking into the Bond Paw harness. It's a great harness for the price. Get free. We just released the strawberry tree. There's a bunch of squirrels in this field. Does the strawberry tree like squirrels? Oh gosh, she's going inside home. I see all these squirrels just standing up, trying to square up with me. I'm not sure about the laws on letting your dog off leash. I'm pretty sure it's not allowed. I've never seen a walking strawberry tree. Mmm, he's so slow. Even the rat is way faster than him. He just loves to smell everything and piss on stuff. It's really annoying. He looks like a little fox. Oh, you little fox. Mm. Every time he gets close, he just decides to take a little break and piss on stuff. We should make him climb a hill for being such a fruit. It's pretty steep. Come on, get up. <laughs> Easy. Here comes the fruit. Here comes the fruit. Little downhill. Don't mind if I do. No freaking way. He's literally growing a strawberry tree. Hey, come on. Kubo. I remember this one time there was a cat inside that bush. We were halfway up this hill and he freaking dragged me down it. I wonder if the sky's gonna turn really weird colored. Someone requested, you should make a video where you read your subscribers comments. This video right here, this one, heart melting Siberian Husky crying over his broken harness at 86,000 views. Pretty sure you guys have seen this. Top comment, scummy fucker leaving the harness there like litter. So you just throw your trash all over the place in America. Interesting. You are such a jackass. The pavement is for pedestrians, not for stupid teens riding their skateboard while being pulled by a dog. I wish I was in my teens. You should be the one who should watch out, not the kids. Children don't matter to you. You are careless towards children, making them walk in a busy street so you can skateboard. They should join me on the skateboard. What can I say? Poor dog, probably super hot. He's always a bit thirsty. Pretty much this video is summed up by people bitching about how I left the harness. That harness can be sold on eBay for thousands of dollars. What other video has a lot of hate? Let me know what you guys think about my thumbnails. My thumbnails, 99% of my thumbnails are pictures from the actual video itself. So that is not clickbait. Must watch extremely rare dogs inside dog park. 167,000 views. The girl was being kind of rude. She has a boyfriend. Holy balls. Here's the bed. I do believe this is one. Oh my gosh, he's, hey, he's already biting it. Get up around. Oh yeah, good boys. This is gonna be for inside. You're gonna love that. Even though it is really big. I've never owned a dog bed before. Get it, Durant. Get it, Durant. Okay, so you could wash it, so that's freaking awesome. Get it. Mm. 
Wow. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.